bangs. So yeah, um, we are now moving on to film number two of this, of the newer, um, the new, uh, rebooted Planet of the Apes saga. And, yep, today we are looking at 2014's Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So, um, yeah, I first saw Dawn back in 2021, just randomly, like I was looking for a movie to watch, and I thought, hey, I have this on 4K, why don't I just pop it in and watch it? And I remember liking it. Um, but since Kingdom is going to be coming out here shortly, I figured I'd want to go through the trilogy. So I watched Rise. I thought it was re thought it was really good, but it could have been a bit better in some areas. Dawn, on the other hand, this is it. This is it, baby. This is the one that's just making me go, oh, oh shit, I am dying to see the next one. This one is directed by Matt Reeves, who you may know from Batman, Cloverfield, Let Me In. He, he just... Dude knows how to make a movie. He knows. I, I don't know how. I don't know how, but he just knows how to make a damn good movie. And that's what Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is. The story this time around f feels more better, or feels better than than Rise. We we get to see the effects and how like how much like the apes have taken over. It also really po poses the question. And, poses questions and conflicts that really make us think. And and I'm just like here for all that. It's executed so well. The conflict between Caesar and that um, other eviler ape Co Cobar, I believe. But like he was such a fantastic villain. Andy Serkis continues to shine as Caesar, and he just, like, his performance just says so much without saying a lot. It's, it's one of his best performances to date. He just nailed it. I'm, oh my gosh, this is just, the rest of the cast is also great. Oh, yeah, um, Koba, that's who he is, played by Toby Ke Kettle. You also have, um, Jason Clark as Malcolm, Gary Oldman as Dreyfus, Kerry Russell as Ellie, and a bunch of others. Oh, and, um, Cody Smith McP. Just. Like, these actors really just did such a great job. And going back to the story, and. Like, we also just get to see, like. See, like, Caesar starting to regain trust with humans. It takes time like throughout the film but but the scene where the power gets back on Caesar just lends his arm out to shake Malcolm's hand and trusts him and that trust is kept throughout the rest of the film it's just such a it's just such a wonderful moment and I also really like Ma Maurice. Like, Maurice is just such a, a, a nice, underrated character. And I love how he didn't, like, lash out at the humans. He kind of knew what was going on and just told them to run. Maurice, 
He's the man. Or ape. He's the ape. The cinematography and visual effects are just outstanding. Like, there's so many amazing and beautiful shots. Like, shot some of the shots that stand out to me are, like, that POV of, like, that one vehicle, like, where its top is, like, spinning, and then Kobar is, like, shooting. That's such a beautiful shot. There's also just some other beautiful shots, like, when the apes are starting to fire their guns, when Caesar and Kobar are fighting at the end. Just beautiful framing, walking, and just... Why can't all movies today be like this? I, like, you could just put this film compared to other films we're getting, like, these past couple years, and you can just definitely see how much difference there's been with both, like, lighting, blocking, framing, and other things, and color. Like, there's just some really beautiful shadows and silhouettes in the movie. Like, I just want... I want more movies to look like this. I just want more, more amazing films like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Um, Weta continues to out, to like shine with their visual effects on this and Rise. Like, Lord of the Rings already showed me like just how great of a company Weta is. And now they continue to like, knock it out, knock it out of the ball with this. Like, now, I'm a big, huge lover for practical effects, and I always will be, but if I see, like, a really fantastic use of CGI, I just gotta gush about it, because, like, the motion capture and CGI on, on the apes, it's perfect. Like, <laughs> they just look so detailed and real. I love it. I especially love, like, whenever C um, Caesar... Wait. Yeah, Caesar. For a moment I was thinking Seymour, but no. No, it's Caesar. When Caesar is kind of, like, has that red line on his face, like, that just looks so badass. And the practical stuff is also great. Like, showcasing, like, the ruined-out city, Golden Gate Bridge... This movie is just everything. This is like another complete package movie. I am really excited to get to war.